Hello Junior Learning House, I am Pat and we are doing another video, let's have a look. So we go to our weeks four and five writing matrix and this is a reading one. So we are doing number four. So if you haven't done the other ones, go back and have a look at the other videos if you need help. So here it says, go outside for a walk or a sit, uh, write down what you see, smell, hear and feel. Now, if you can't go outside or if the weather's bad, or something like that, what I would type into Google would be nature walk. So let me copy and let me show you what that would look like. So the first thing would be maybe go outside with your family, go for a walk, things like that. But if you can't, let me show you what you can type in. So here we go, flip over. Now, if you typed in nature walk, well, you get lots of different maps, and, but if you go to images or pictures, there you go. So what I would do is click one of these images that you like the look of. I like the look of, ooh, I like the look of that one. So I've just clicked it. You don't need to double click it. You don't need to click again. It's just there. So if you can't go outside, try and imagine what you would see, smell, feel here if you were in this place. So let's go back and let's have a look. So. The work matrix says, go outside and draw a sheet like this, what you see, what you smell, what you feel, what you hear. So if you can't go outside, go into Google and type in nature walk. But let me show you how I've set up my book and I'd like you to set your book up the same way. So pause the video and make sure that your book is set up like this. We've got our heading, our nature walk, I've written the date and I've done, and of course what I've done is separated our page into four squares, one, two, three, four. You can use a ruler if you want, you can do a rough, just go very slow uh, drawing if you want, but I've separated it into what I can see, I see, I smell, a picture of a nose, I feel, and I hear. So pause the video and make sure you've done that. Now, okay, make sure your page is like that. Now I went for a walk this morning, so I'm gonna write about what I saw this morning. So let's see. I saw two ducks because I went to a lake that's near my house. I saw two ducks. What were they doing? There's a verb here swimming in the where were they swimming? Describe it in the lake. I saw two ducks swimming in the lake. Now that's one sentence. If you've got room, try and fit in two or three sentences, but I'm just gonna quickly show you one example for each box. I smell, hmm. I could smell, and then you would write what you could smell. Well, on my walk, I could smell freshly, meaning it's just happened, freshly cut grass and rain. Sometimes I find that if it's rained or it's about to rain, you can sort of just smell that it's rained or something like that. Or maybe it was just that fresh cut grass that I was smelling. Maybe you're near a bakery and you can smell some hot bread. Let us know what you feel. Let us know what you can smell. So we've done what we can see, what we can smell. Now what can I feel? What, what, what did you feel? Now I'm going to write down, I felt. Now I wrote down felt and not feel because it's already happened. So this is the past, so it's past tense. I felt happy to be outside, but a little cold, because it was a very cold morning, but a little cold. There you go. So that's my sentence there. I felt happy to be outside, but a little cold. And here, what did I hear? I heard many different types of birds singing. So there you go. Now that's just very, uh, some quick examples. So. I heard many different types of birds singing. So just a bit of a recap of what we've done. 
We've written the date, we've got our heading, our nature walk. We've drawn our page into four different squares. We've done these other headings. I see, I smell, I feel, I hear. We've drawn pictures of our senses to remind us. And we've used these sentence starters. I saw, because it's past tense. I could, I felt, I heard, and we've written a sentence for each. If you've got room or a little bit more time, I'd love it if you wrote down two or three sentences. Or maybe leave enough room so that next time you go on a walk, you could write another sentence. That would be great. But otherwise, that's it. We're done for this lesson. So well done for making it to the end. And of course, what's very exciting is because we're finished, we can go back and we can color in that box because we're finished. But that's it for today. So thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you again for another video very soon.